So Bungie might have added a new contender for the best fusion rifle in Destiny 2. For those of you who may be curious as to what I'm talking about, I am talking about the new season of the Wish seasonal fusion rifle, Scatter Signal. This fusion rifle came to my attention after realizing that it has a similar perk combination that another top tier fusion rifle has, with the fusion rifle being the Aramite. So today, I put these two fusion rifles head to head to see which fusion rifle is the better option for DPS. So with that being said, I'm Sniper Cage, and let's hop into the video. So, before we get to the testing, I want to begin by setting the stage for you all on why I have such high hopes for this weapon. For a while now, rapid fire fusion rifles have been the go-to for boss damage, and because of that, we saw the rise of popular fusion rifles like Cartesian Coordinate and Null Composure. However, with the release of Season of the Witch in August, we got the Aramite, which quickly became a top pick for PvE thanks to the perk Controlled Burst, which grants a 20% damage boost for a short period of time after you land all bolts on your fusion rifle. So because of its access to that perk, and access to a perk that overflows your magazine and that of Envious Assassin, made the Aramite a top tier option. However, the Aramite's reign of terror might have come to an end thanks to Scatter Signal's access to control at first, and also overflow, which while it's not as great as Envious Assassin, it still does a similar job. So now that the stage has been said, let's talk about what tests we're doing, and let's showcase the results. So, what test am I going to be running? Well, obviously we're going to be doing damage testing, but it is not as shallow as that. I will be running two different tests which both revolve around damage. The two tests that will be run are burst damage and sustained damage. What is the difference you might ask? Well, burst damage is defined as damage done in a short amount of time, while sustained damage is defined as damage done in a longer period of time. An in-game example of burst damage fights would be Aatrax from Deep Stone Crypt, and an in-game example of sustained damage would be the Locust boss fight in Warlord's Ruin. Regarding the factors that I chose to add for each test, each fusion rifle will be paired with three stacks of their respective elemental weapon surge and the Well of Radiance. Furthermore, the damage testing will be held at the Ogre boss in Grasp of Avarice, since it is a larger boss, making my life easier when it comes to hidden shots. Okay, with all that being said, let's get to the results. We're going to start with burst damage testing. When it comes down to burst damage testing, I chose to fire one base magazine's worth of ammo meaning that for the Aramite, I will be firing 6 shots at the boss, and for the Scatter Signal, I will be firing 8 shots. For the Aramite, with 3 stacks of Solar Surge and Well of Radiance, I was able to do 459,878 damage, which is roughly 76,646 damage per shot. For a special weapon, this does quite a fair amount of damage per shot. So, how does Scatter Signal compare to that? Well, Scatter Signal did a total of 386,073 damage which comes out to roughly 48,259 damage per shot. As you could probably guess, based off the results, the Aramite won in this test, as the Aramite was able to do roughly 70,000 more damage. So, because of this test, how will Scatter Signal fare against the Aramite in the Sustained Damage Test? Well, there's only one way to find out. We continue on with Sustained Damage Testing. Regarding the Sustained Damage Testing, I kept the same buffs as I did for the previous fight, being 3 stacks of the Fusion Rifle's respective Elemental Weapon Surge and Well of Radiant. The main difference for this test is that we will now be using each Fusion Rifle's second perk to overflow the magazine for sustained testing. For the record, I am using the enhanced version of these perks, meaning that the Aramite is equipped with Enhanced Envious Assassin and Scatter Signal is equipped with Enhanced Overflow. Doing this allowed both Fusion Rifles to store all shots from the magazine and reserves into one clip. So, what do the results look like? Well, for the Aramite, I found that with the conditions it was put into, it did a total of 904,111 damage, totaling out to roughly 69,514 damage per shot, which is accurate. So, can the Scatter Signal beat that? Well, I tested that, and after emptying all 18 shots into the boss, I found that the Scatter Signal did a whopping 1,050,238 damage, which is roughly 58,347 damage per shot. In case you may not be able to tell, this means that Scatter Signal won this test, with it dealing a little over 100,000 in damage compared to the Aramite. So, with that being said, which fusion rifle is better? Well, it depends. It's not as easy to crown one fusion rifle as the better option compared to the other, as both fusion rifles do one job better than the other. The better fusion rifle pick will come down to the boss you're fighting within the activity you're doing. If you find yourself fighting a boss where you have a short window to damage the boss, then the Aramite will be the better option for you. However, if you were to fight a boss that has a longer damage phase, then Scatter Signal will be your go-to. So basically, the better option depends on the situation you are in. 
That being said, I still think that the Scatter Signal has the potential to be the best fusion rifle in the game, especially thanks to its ease of access. As a fun fact, you can apparently get Wish Engrams from completing the Blind Will activity in the Dreaming City, allowing you to focus the Scatter Signal even if you don't own the season. If this is actually true, then please drop a comment confirming it. Well, that'll wrap it up for today's video. If you found it helpful, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more Destiny 2 content dropping weekly. If you have content that you'd like to see me cover, then be sure to drop a comment and I'll be sure to get to it. Otherwise, be sure to check out my other social media platforms linked in the description below as I do post additional content over there. With that being said, I'm SniperHage, and I'm out. Good luck with gaming.